This video is the first lesson of a mini course on virtual reality game development with the HTC Vive, Unity, and Steam VR. In this video, I'll show you how to get set up for Vive development. If you want to take the full course, click on the link below and enroll in the free Vive developer mini course at VR Dev School. Okay, so let's get you set up for Steam VR development with the HTC Vive and Unity. So the first thing to do is go to unity3d.com and then click down here on Get Unity 5. We're going to get the personal edition of Unity, if you don't have it already. Click on free download here. And you'll see here we're going to be downloading Unity version 5.3.3. Um, we're going to be using Unity, Unity version 5.3 for these uh, videos in this course. But the 5.4 version is coming out pretty soon. It's in beta right now. And that's going to have a whole bunch of uh, updates and uh, Steam VR and OpenVR integrations. So what we'll do is that I will update this course when that comes out, when that's ready to go. In the meantime, 5.3 is totally fine. It works just great. Uh, we just have to get the Steam plugin and that kind of thing in there. So just go ahead and get 5.3 for now. And when, like I said, when 5.4 comes out, it'll be, uh, it'll be updated. I'll update everything for you. Okay, so um, install Unity if you don't have it already. And I just want to show you here that... Uh, what you got to do is make sure that the Windows build support is selected. So in Unity 5.3, you have to in install every build platform separately. And uh, we're going to be using Windows for these videos in this course, because that's the only platform right now that has uh, support for all the VR stuff. So make sure that Windows is selected as your build platform. Go ahead and install Unity. Of course, I've got it already, so I'm just going to cancel that. And you'll see it here. It'll download and install for you. And uh, while you have that downloaded install, what I'll do is show you some of the developer resources that you should be uh, aware of. Uh, so first one, the most important one is the Steam forums for the Steam VR developer hardware. This is basically the forum right now for Steam VR development. So if you have some questions, of course, you can ask below the videos in all of the discussion sections. But this is a really great resource. There's a bunch of stuff that's already there. So you might actually find that someone's already had your problem and solved it here. So this is where most of the developers are hanging out that are creating content for the Vive and for Steam VR. So make sure you bookmark that one. All of these links are going to be below the lecture video. So they'll always be there. You can always find this stuff through that also. The other one that you should pay attention to is the Vive developer page. You should know where this is. It's got a bunch of the developer resources and user guides as well as many of the links that we'll show here are actually kind of cross-linked on all of these sites. So that's a good one to know. The Steam VR support page is uh, the one that has a bunch of links on it also, uh, but also the installation guides, troubleshooting, and links to the developer pages. It's a good one just to have around for all the links that are there. This is the Steam VR community uh, news. So this is one where you can go to to get the latest info directly from Valve about Steam VR and all the latest news and posts and stuff there. Uh, another one is the R Vive. That's the subreddit on uh, on Reddit. That uh, that there's a lot of news and stuff in there. It's not a great one for development help. So if you're stuck with development, this is probably not the one you want to go to. But it is a good one to stay up to date on on what's new with uh, Vive and what's new in the news uh, content and and uh, that kind of thing. So always a good one to keep in mind. And this one is the GitHub, the Valve's uh, the Valve Software Open VR GitHub page, and this is where the API documentation is. So this is really the low level code for Open VR, the C++ code. So if you're using Unity, you don't need to worry about this. But if you're going to be making your own game engine with OpenGL or you're integrating Open VR into some other platform, this is the where you get that code. So I mentioned it here for completeness. We don't need this for this course. Uh, but that's where the code is. It's on GitHub and uh, you can read that API documentation if you're keen and if you're at that level of development yet. This is the Steam VR community discussion. And it's not really quite clear yet what's going to be here uh, in the end or where this will go. It seems to be mostly about content, um, you know, Steam VR content, questions from the community outside of just developers. So there's, you know, it's not quite clear exactly if this is going to be a good place to get development feedback. Like I said, I think actually the Steam VR hardware developer one, this one over here, is the better one to go to as a developer. Uh, but this will be a nice community page, I guess. Well, it, it remains to be seen exactly what this one is going to be about and how it develops. Another great place to go for news is uh, to follow VR Dev School on Twitter. So just uh, 
give us a follow and uh, I'll be tweeting all the news and happenings and latest info. So uh, that's another good place to go for developer news and insights. And then the last page I've got a link to here for you is just the SteamVR plugin. We're going to get that into the into that in the later lectures. So I just mentioned it here, and um, you know this is what where you can find that store page with the latest SteamVR plugin. Let's see what happens with Unity 5.4 uh, because that might not be useful anymore in, after 5.4 because it could be integrated. But if you're for some reason stuck on a version of Unity before 5.4, like for example, in this course, we're using 5.3, you'll need this Steam VR plugin. So uh, hopefully for you, Unity's ready to go now. And uh, that means we can dive right in and uh, get in there and create our first scene and start playing around with the Vive. Click on the link on the right to watch the next lesson from the Vive Developer Mini Course, or click on the link on the left to enroll in the full course for free at VR Dev School. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get more virtual reality developer videos from VR Dev School. 